Do I say hi? Yeah, no. no. Okay. Oh, 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 I have a really good question, actually. What? Advice? <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Please, can you shut the door? Anna, what do you think about the Kardashian style? You have to admire how they have created an empire, obviously through their personalities and a creative genius of their mother, and how they live the way they do. I can't possibly understand or fathom living so much in the public eye, but obviously it works. Kim, of all of them, I feel has possibly changed the most. I personally admire the way that she has become a little bit more uh, minimal in the way that she's dressing and a little bit more covered. So obviously the Kardashian that we've had the most experience with at Vogue is Kendall. People thought that she wouldn't last and I give her a lot of credit for persevering in her highly successful modeling career. She's very open and very direct in the way she talks about how she just wants to be a model, that she enjoys being a model, that she um, has worked hard at it. And I, and I hope that she continues. I mean, she, she reminds me in many ways of Linda Evangelista, who always was happy being a model. I think that maybe some of the other girls that came up at that time w wanted other careers. They wanted to be actresses or um, entrepreneurs or hosting TV shows or whatever it may be. Whereas Linda, I think, just loved being a model. And as a result, she was incredible and a, and a gift to all of us. And I see Kendall very much in the same way. It's just whether with everything else that she's doing, she can keep up the, the pace. So Anna, what would one wear to an interview at Vogue? So interesting to me how people dress when they come in for interviews. And sometimes you feel they're wearing clothes that they just bought that morning or maybe the night before and not something that in any way suits their personality and who they are. And I think what everybody should remember, whether they're interviewing at Vogue or indeed anywhere, that we're not hiring your wardrobe. Uh, your wardrobe is not going to be doing the job for you. It's who you are. I'll always remember a young man who came in in a, in a dress and a handbag, and I, I gave him the job on the spot. You have to dress for yourself. And uh, it's the same for any job that you might be going for. I, I think it doesn't do yourself a service to fake it. Anna, what do you think about leggings? <laughs> Well, this is not the first time in fashion that we've celebrated leggings. We saw them happen, I think, first in the 80s, um, courtesy, uh, I believe, of Azadine Alaya and also the explosion in fitness and everybody starting to work out in a frantic way that they possibly hadn't done before. I tend to think they look best in black, but uh, I'm sure they'll be back again in another 20 years. I think there was a pink leggings moment in 93. That I wore? Uh-huh. Oh, that was a mistake. Uh. <laughs> hey, Anna, how has Fashion Week changed? This was even before my time, but it used to be that at the couture shows, you would get into full black tie for the men and full evening dresses for the women with the gloves and, and no music. Everything was completely silent. And the shows would just start numero un and it would go on up to maybe numerous uh, 500, and it would last three hours. And now today, there's a cavalcade of videographers and paparazzi and street style and editors, and you can have two or 3,000 people at, at some of the bigger shows. So it's gone from being this very private, small world to something that people look at from a global perspective. So with the ever-changing gender boundaries, do you think that fashion should be broken down by gender or should it just be fluid for everybody? I do not believe that uh, men and women should have separate rules. I, I think if a man chooses to wear a dress, certainly that's great. And women have certainly been uh, wearing men's suits for a very long time. So I think the boundaries should cross over. I think we should celebrate that. Of course, fashion has to change. It's about change. This is what this industry is. So. If somebody wants to show men mixed with women or a totally a gender fluid collection and they want to show it in Tokyo in January or June, what, what difference does it make? I, I, I think everybody has to follow the path that they feel is right for them. My question is, what advice would you give to a young aspiring photographer? 
I think you almost have to work like a little universe because you need to bring a sense of individual style to your work because everybody today thinks of themselves as a photographer. You need to look, you need to walk, you need to see, you need to go to exhibitions, you need to watch movies. If you want to be a fashion photographer, you, you need to follow all the shows and, and develop your own point of view. Again, my advice is until you know who you are, until you feel that you have something to say and still you're, until your ideas are really fully formed, work with your friends, work with smaller titles, do some experimental video. Don't try to run before you can walk.